What's up everyone? Janitor Jake here. Now see, I love garage sales and I love thrift stores. Um, a couple years ago I used to go out garage sailing and hitting up thrift stores and other random places I could find for stuff that I grew up with from my past. And I tell you what, holy smokes did I find a lot of awesome stuff. I'd find old NES games over here, old Super Nintendo games over there, old Sega Genesis games over here, old Atari games over here. That was awesome, and it was all for like little to no cost at all. It was amazing. And not only just old retro video games that I grew up with, but old toys. I'd find old Ninja Turtle toys over here. Um, I'd find like old Ghostbuster toys over there. I'd find ALF toys and all sorts of awesome stuff. You know, I loved that. That was great. Building up my childhood again. That was awesome. Um, however, about a year later, what ends up happening? I'm going out to garage sales and thrift stores like I was before, except now I can't find anything anymore. And I'm going, what in the world? I know for a fact that I didn't buy it all. It's not like I went and bought everything. So what's going on? Well, come to find out, oh, it's the next cool thing to do, man. It's really cool to go out and collect all this stuff anymore. So pretty much everyone and their grandmother now collects retro stuff, old video games from 70s, 80s, and 90s, old pop culture memorabilia stuff from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Why? All of a sudden it's like the next coolest thing in the world, so everyone does it. And that really ticks me off, because when I started collecting again, it was I was doing it for me. I was doing it because I wanted to get back into it. Not because it was a cool thing, dude. YOLO, bro, turned up. No, baloney. Everyone else now is doing it, and I can't find anything, because these morons are going out and taking it all away. When I started collecting, like I said, I went out and I bought something that I personally wanted for me. And then I'd go out and I'd buy this little thing here, and buy that little thing here, and buy this little thing here. Until eventually my, collecting, my collection started to grow. Well, nowadays, all of a sudden you get people who are like, wow, that's cool to collect that now? Well, I'm going to go out to a game store and just buy all these rare games, and I'm going to hit every little thing I can find so I can have this huge collection to say I'm cool. Knock it off! Stupid! Though that really irritates me. And here's another thing that irritates me now, all of a sudden, because now I can't find anything no matter what. It's like, no matter how hard I try to find stuff garage sailing, I can't find diddly squat. And another thing that makes me mad is through social media and text messaging and emails and the Pony Express and whatever else, people will contact me and I see things. Um, friends will tell me, hey man, did you find any cool finds? Look what I found, dude. And all of a sudden I see posts on Facebook, oh wow, I went video game hunting, look what I found. And they went out like on a Friday, uh, they just walked out the door, walked down the street and they come back with a haul. And what do they have? They like stacks of like PS1 games and they're all like extraordinarily rare or they'll have like piles of NES games like extraordinarily rare ones people are finding stadium events for the NES people are finding Earthbound for the Super Nintendo um, you know, I have a friend of mine who found Pure Solar for the Sega Genesis for like a well, well, dollar or two dollars at a garage sale like what? really? come on I mean, such a crazy game like that at a garage sale for a buck. Okay. But, what do I find? This is what I find. <clears throat> Nothing. I can't find anything. All these people are finding all these rare exclusive games, you know, and they're getting it for like 10 cents a piece or, you know, a penny a piece. Just something ridiculous. Meanwhile, I go to a garage sale, and if I'm lucky, I'm like, wow, Xbox games, okay. Oh, it's a 360 game. Okay, cool. How much? Uh, $15, please. $15, please. Come on. All of a sudden, the prices of everything are going sky high, at least where I go. Everyone else is getting stuff for just dirt cheap. Terrible. And, you know, so enough is enough. I'm going to show you guys what I end up finding. Now, here's the thing. When nerds or gamers or anyone like that um, ends up doing garage sale find videos or thrift store find videos, you're seeing all this awesome stuff. Well, you know what? You're going to find out the trash that I end up picking up. So, without further ado, time to show you guys the junk that I have. Let's get going. Alright, so now it's time to check out um, the stuff that I just randomly end up picking up. Now, before I get into this, here's the thing. Um, when I was first garage sailing a while ago, it was almost like going to a convention for me. 
you know, when you go to a convention, for those that haven't been to one, like, uh, for example, I went to RetroCon a while ago. Um, at RetroCon, there's, I mean, that's all it is, is video games and toys and memorabilia from that time period, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and stuff like that. And so, I would go through and look for stuff that I wanted. Just because I saw a Spider-Man toy or, you know, some random comic, didn't mean I was going to buy it because I thought it was cool. I was buying stuff for me. I was buying stuff that I thought was cool for me. But now it's getting to the point where, you know, when I go to garage sales, it's not like that anymore. I used to go to garage sales and I'd pass stuff up so I can get other things. Now, that's not the case. Now I go to a garage sale and I'm like, oh, wow, that looks kind of interesting. That looks kind of retro. I might as well buy it before somebody else dies. That's the problem. Now if I go and I see a little Yosemite Sam toy, it's like, boy, I better snatch that up before some other dinklepuss comes in and snatches it up. It's ridiculous. So, whatever. Enough shenanigans. Time to show you guys what the random junk that I end up picking up. So, I have things separated in three different categories. First category is non-retro related items. Second category is retro memorabilia. And the third category is um, video games and video gaming memorabilia. All right, so here we go with the non-retro memorabilia. We got, oh, awesome, cake pans. What am I gonna do with these bad boys? Bake a cake? No, here's what I do. I'm a filmmaker, and so being a filmmaker, me and my buddy Chris, we um, build and try to make our own lighting equipment because uh, lighting equipment helps out with videos. Uh, go in the past and look at my old videos um, from like 2008 and compare those videos from back then to the videos of now. Yeah, these videos have way better uh, visual quality. and. It's all thanks to pretty much lighting and a better camera. So, why in the world am I buying junk like this, cake pans? Well, the thing is, I use this to build lighting equipment. Um, I guess I'll show you a picture of a light that me and a friend built. And throw it up here or something, or over here, wherever. Anyway, I bought this because I was scratching my head. I didn't find anything. Like, I haven't been finding anything. And so I finally buy something like this, and I'm thinking, well, I could put it on the back of something to house the electronics. This is where all the wires and stuff would go. And so I guess this would help. And these were only 10 cents. And so to kind of give you an idea, I ended up buying these at a thrift store. Pans, uh, roasters, or whatever you want to call them. And this is kind of the general idea, even though I don't know how well these would fit together. But you put the sockets socket splitters inside here with the light bulbs in there and then all your electronics are hanging out so what you do you slap that bad boy on there there you go all right and now I have a light setup so this is the kind of stuff I buy because I can't find video game items anywhere or retro memorabilia anywhere so now I'm just buying stuff like that thing is I paid 10 cents for this cake pan and I don't even know if it's vintage. It says like Bake King, King of Bakeware. Who knows, it's probably worth a million dollars, but guess what? I'm just gonna drill a couple holes in it anyway and destroy it. So, whatever. And um, another thing I end up picking up for more lighting equipment is of course clamp lights. Um, for people that know about filmmaking, they know filmmakers like to get clamp lights. Well, they're nice. Even though I like building my own stuff, clamp lights are nice. Um, I'm actually using a clamp light right over here for a fill light. But um, you can buy these at like the big outlet stores for like five bucks or something like that. But I go to garage sales because generally I find them pretty cheap. 50 cents, 25 cents, or a dollar. So when they're cheap like that, I end up buying them. And they usually work, so I'm glad about that. So now we're moving on to uh, the retro memorabilia. And so, one of the items I ended up picking up was this. Power Rangers, the movie, the book. Adventure on Fados. You know, I mean, this is stuff that I would usually end up passing up. I mean, it's cool. I loved the Power Rangers growing up as a kid. I had the movie as a kid. I still do got the movie. But, you know, yeah. Stuff like this, I probably would never really buy. But, 
everything is getting so doggone stingy now, I have to buy stuff like this. So, whatever. And another thing I ended up buying was this, which I thought was kind of cool. Tasmanian Devil uh, Remote Control Holder, if that's what you want to call it. I, apparently he sits down on the couch, couch like that, and you put the remote controls right there or whatever. The only problem with Taz is I find Taz everywhere. Um, you guys already know, I got the huge Taz cardboard cutout right there. But, you know, not only do I have that, I end up finding stuff like this, you know, Space Jam Tasmanian Devil. Um, what else do I got? Uh, Tasmanian De Devil uh, Cup. Uh, what else do I got? Gee whiz, how about another Tasmanian Devil Cup? Uh, coffee mug this time. Ooh, fancy, fancy schmancy, right? Uh, geez, what else? How about another cup, just for the heck of it? Boy, you know what? what? Might as well, right? Let's get a Tasmanian Devil alarm clock. Awesome. You know, we can't pass up a Tasmanian Devil doll, right? We don't have one of those yet. Boy, you know what else? Let's get Tasmanian Devil t-shirts, too. Why not? I don't know if you guys can see this at all, but it's black on black. It's a picture of Taz. And, ah, uh, what the heck, you know what? Since that one's black and people can't see it anyway, let's get another one. Right? Looney Tunes with big old Taz on there. I mean, ridiculous. This is a stuff, like, I'd be passing up on all this. Like, oh, Taz, I already got, you know, a bunch of Taz stuff. I don't need any more. But no, what do I do? I go and I buy more Taz stuff just because I see it. Because if I don't know, someone else will buy it and then I'll regret not buying it. Terrible. So, whatever. Now we're going to go on to the video gaming stuff. What? Yeah, I know, right? Every time I go to a garage sale, and, well, especially this one. When I went to this garage sale, I, um, I saw these Xbox 360 games sitting there. And I was like, oh, be still my heart. About ready to have a heart attack here. Oh goodness, I actually found video games. It's terrible. And so, anyway, here we go. This is more video gaming memorabilia items. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, whatever, The Secret Admirer. Some kind of Valentine's Day storybook. You know, stuff like this I'd probably pick up because, you know, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Especially Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I grew up playing the second game instead of the first game anyway. So this is a pretty neat item that I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll pick it up. What's it worth? I don't know. I think I got it for free. I probably overpaid for it, right? <sighs> overpaid for everything now. Um, and then I got this. The official U.S. PlayStation magazine. I used to have tons and tons of these magazines. Uh, I was subscribed to it. I actually have... Uh, my original one, Volume 1, Issue 1, uh, the Ghost in the Shell issue. And so, but yeah, I used to read these magazines all the time, get the demo discs with them, well, play the demo discs all the time. These were amazing, but of course, uh, like every other dumb kid out there, I ended up just like getting rid of them, throwing them away, pop spilt on them, and I'd rip them up, and dumb. Don't ever do that to your stuff. So, pick that up. Don't even remember what I paid for, probably a dollar. I know, overpaid, right? Man. It's worth a penny. And now this is the part that I got excited about. And really, this is exciting. It's ridiculous. So, one of the games I ended up picking up was Rogue Warrior. And the thing is, I only paid, I don't know if you can see it, 25 cents. I paid a quarter for it. Um, the only problem is, yes, it's just the disc. And the only other thing I can think of is that I'm not sure if it's actually the correct cover for it either. It feels different. I'm not sure, but whatever. No cover. Probably came from a video game store. Someone probably stole it and then sold it at a garage sale. Now I'm going to get arrested. Uh, whatever. Dumb. So that's Rogue Warrior for a quarter. Then this was I thought was kind of cool. Super Street Fighter 4. Um, even though there's a billion Street Fighter games out there. So once again, came with just the disc. But, I mean, what can I say? For a quarter, you can't go wrong with stuff like that. Right? And now this was actually kind of neat. Um original Xbox game, RLH, for the same price, um, 25 cents, and this actually did come complete. Manual and the disc, and the manual is actually in really great condition. And, yeah, lo and behold, the disc is in really good condition as well. So, wow, you know, that was a surprise. And then the other one, of course, PS2 American Chopper, 25 cents, uh, same deal, has the manual, has the disc, 
Manual's in really great condition, and I believe the disc is in great condition as well. Yep, doesn't even barely look like it was played. So, 25 cents. You know, and that's the problem that I'm finding with games. Whenever I find games, I don't find Nintendo, Super Nintendo anymore. I'm finding Xbox 360, and they're not like really cool games either. They're always like these really random, Rogue Warrior, RLH, Hunter be Hunty. Okay, so, whatever. You know, I'm getting really sick and tired of not finding anything and just finding, boop, that's it. That's all I can find, just junk. Meanwhile, all my buddies are going out and about and they're finding all this awesome stuff. But around here, this is terrible. I live in northwest Wisconsin and I can't find anything. Heck, I, I have friends of mine who are like, yeah, you know, go out to California. And what happens is when you go garage sailing, you have the mindset, well, I'm going to go garage sailing. Hopefully, I can find some awesome stuff. Up here, you have the mindset of, okay, I'm going to go garage sailing. Boy, I sure hope I can find some garage sales. Really? It's terrible. You'll drive for like an hour. And then all of a sudden, oh, there's a garage sale. Let's go there. And you find some knick-knack paddy wax, give a dog a bone. I mean, dumb. And then you drive another hour somewhere else. And oh, wow, maybe you find another garage sale. And they got like a video game there. And it's $25. And it's like, because somebody's like, yeah, Nintendo, man, that's the cool thing now. Oh, how much is your Mario Brothers game? That's, that's cool, dude. That stuff is cool and getting big. That's hot. $20, please. $20 for that old Nintendo tape. Dumb. Sick and tired of that garbage. So, whatever. And the thing was, this wasn't just one week. You know, I mean, of course these games came from the same garage sale, you know, and whatnot. But all this stuff, this was like week after 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 week of hunting for all this stuff. This is what I come up with after like five weeks of going out every weekend. Boom, 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 garage sale, nothing. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, I found one thing. Dumb. So, whatever. I'm Janitor Jake, and well, <laughs> that was what I found out and about at the garage sales.